843, calling from an 843 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hello, Sam? Yes. Hey, how are you? It's Anthony from Los Angeles. How are you? Good. Anthony from Los Angeles. What's on your mind? A long-time caller, or excuse me, long-time listener. So just a quick background. I gave up listening to Daily Wire for a year, and I turned to your channel instead. To to listen to, to what for a year? Oh, I Daily quit Wire. listening oh. to the Daily Wire. Okay. I oh, hear those guys, obviously. Well, I, it turns out I'm much more resolved in my in my uh, beliefs, and I just had one quick question. Um, so you've been speaking out a lot against the Israel and how they're colonial settlers. Would you guys in New York be willing to give back your plot of land or anything you guys own to the Native Americans? Well, I mean, I think we... I, I would believe in certainly in reparations, uh, without a doubt. And I think to a certain extent, look, I think we have to reckon with the colonial uh, settler past of this country with no doubt. And, uh, no, but you specifically, would you, just you yourself? Would I myself? As individuals? Yes, give reparations. Well, I don't you think that any more. individual uh, Israeli should do this either. Okay, but if, if but here in America, if we if we live in this colonial settler state, would you lead the charge in giving back some of your land, some of the? Well, the I certainly listen. I mean, if you've listened to the show uh, for an extended period of time, I mean, you've definitely heard us talk about proposals. I would certainly give all the the uh, the national uh, parks over to uh, Native Americans as as part reparations. Um, and I think that nobody's necessarily suggesting that every uh, bit of Israel um, but uh, be given to Palestinians. But yeah. certainly, certainly, I would start with mm. everything uh, post-67 borders returned to Palestinians. Yeah, land and then, about Europeans going back to Europe. And then I would look for reparations, some mix of reparations, a, a, a involved in a right of return and reparations for lands that were taken uh, beyond the mandate. But I also think... Are you that, talking like, about here in America or here in Israel? I'm talking about in Israel. Got it. Um, and I certainly would be for, uh, you know, having a... Uh, for Israel to become a, a single democratic state where all of its citizens had equal rights i am mm -hmm. sort of agnostic on whether that or a two-state solution that if the palestinian people had sovereignty actual sovereignty uh decided to sign off on that's not you know for me to decide um but i certainly i think like look um do you advocate for the two-state solution for israel I either a two state solution I, I, or a one state solution. I haven't heard explicitly from from your side what which you have. Well, I think that look for a long time the two state solution has been a has been offered as a as a as a way of basically a stalling tactic, um, and over the course. A cop out. Of, Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really just a stalling tactic. Red herring, yeah. Um, and uh, okay. to distract people from the ongoing over the past couple of decades um creation of settlements contrary to you know uh un resolutions and uh contrary even i think to u.s um policy as well if not statute um and so do you i think th the biggest th i'm sorry for interrupting go ahead no go ahead i said do you think the biggest uh, shortfall in the two-state solution is just a clear-cut line between cultural and moral values? Because I've heard Emma especially say this is a racist, it's a skin color thing, but if, you, if you've ever been to that part of the world, it's hard to distinguish between a Jewish and a Muslim per, and, a, and a Palestinian person. They virtually have the same skin color. So I don't well, know. What I'll tell you, I have been to that part of the world. Country. I have been to that part of the world. And one of the ways that you can mm -hmm. tell the difference uh, from a lot of them, if you cross into the West Bank, is um, that one is occupied by people with guns who don't allow the freedom of movement. And they figure it yeah, out. Yeah, but how is that? How is, I'm so, yep, go ahead. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Go ahead. Well, they know. I mean, look, 
Yeah, they but how know. does that? How does? How is that racism though? How is that racism? Do, are you aware of how? Of are you aware of how Irish people were treated when they came to this country? Do you, do you, are you aware of the Poorly. history of this country? No, but, but, but yeah. race is a political it was construct. racism. No Irish, no Italians. You should do some studying on this because if you don't understand how people who have the Sam, same. I'm very, Sam, I'm very aware people have been mistreated all the no, time. No, 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 no. Not mistreated. They were mistreated because they were Irish. It wasn't because of their nationality. They didn't like their, their flag. They didn't like their form of government. They perceived them as being less than what at that time was considered white people. Irish people, Italian people, when they first came to this country, were not considered white. If you don't understand this dynamic, you need to do more work on it. You need to research it more. No, I, I and I agree with that. But I just okay, want to so wait a second. Explain to me now. Now explain to me. Israelis. Explain to me your question. If how is it that Irish people in the 1910s could be perceived as less than white, but today no one would ever make that comment? And now apply that it, question. How is it that that dynamic could have existed and you not understand that Israelis who sometimes have a similar complexion? I mean, I've listen, I've I have spent a lot of time with some Ethiopian you, Jews. But would you argue that? Of I course, mean, and there's nothing against either. They're also or. incidentally saying, subjected to a tremendous amount of racism in Israel. Oh, no, of course, of course, of course. Of course. But, would you understand? You're would saying you, how you could know, racism if, exist? If, instead of defaulting, Did, instead of defaulting to racism, it's not a default. default to maybe it's culturally dis- no, it's culturally not a default. Dis- it's not a default. It's not culture. It's, not a default. it's a structure. It's and again, like you put your finger on it. It's the same culture that created a lot of uh, race ha- uh, hatred here, which is uh, there is settler population and there is an indigenous population to be dispossessed. It's not a default. It's 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 the actual reality of it. I mean. And if you don't understand how racism could exist, but, 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 hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me finish. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. If you don't understand how racism can exist when some Israelis look like some Palestinians, but you do understand how racism could exist at 19, in the 1910s between some uh, white Americans and some Irish uh, immigrants, let's say, you understand that that's racism, right? No Irish need apply. It's not because you, you're, you're full of leprechauns or whatever it is, or you like to wear green. It's, it's racism. Right. If you could understand that racism, why are you having such trouble understanding the idea that uh, the, uh, Palestinians are uh, treated the way they are, uh, at the very least in part because of racism? I would say it's a cultural, there's some sort of cult, cultural deficit that is preventing Israel. Do you think and, that there is a like, cultural like, deficit yeah, between a Russian thing. Jew and an Israeli Jew? A cultural difference between a Russian Jew and an Israeli Jew. Oh, of course. Okay. Now, why is it that all of those um, over a million Russian emigres who came into that country, they have full rights and Palestinians do not? Uh, because I would venture, I, and again, you've been to this part of the world more than I have. I would assume, and based on my previous work history and things that I've known, that Muslims and Jews typically don't get along. It's been that way for no. thousands of years. No, actually, that's not been, in fact, uh, you say thousands of years. Uh, first off, how old do you think Islam is? 632 is when Muhammad okay. was born. So you're saying that over the past of those uh, 1,500 years. Or 655, whatever. 1,500 years. Okay, okay. 1,500 years has always I'm been sorry. a problem between uh, um, uh, um, Jews and, uh, and Muslims. What about Christians? Okay, so was was uh, the, uh, the Protestants versus Catholics and Irish, was that a racial or a religious? That was imperial conflict. again. Um, Colonial. But but you still haven't answered my question okay, about the cultural differences between yeah, the Russian immigrants. Yes, it led to racism. Colonial structures lead to racism. 
You still haven't answered my question about cultural okay, you the cultural question? difference What's between Russian immigrant uh, Russian immigrants. Like, why do they show up and they have um, uh, rights and Palestinians don't? Uh, they probably interact more freely and sociably with the. With why do you think they're able to do that? Because they are given full citizenship rights. Well, hold on. Are, are Russian immigrants uh, advocating for the death of all Jews? You're saying that all Palestinians advocate for the death of all no, Jews? No, I'm not saying all. I'm saying a majority of them do. You you're saying the majority the of them do? The kids are taught in schools. Uh, dude, you don't know what you're taught. talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking well, are you, about. Are you saying? Are you I'm saying, saying that most definitively. Are advocating for the death of Jews? No, the Palestinians do not call for the death of all Jews. I, I've known many, many oh. people who have had first, many Jews. Who have a lot. So the, of, so the, of, the propaganda taught in schools depicting Jews as brats and termites and stuff like this is, this is all just a... You should see what they're saying about Palestinians, too. I don't know if you've seen any of these videos. I'm, you know, uh, let me tell well, you... I, mean, I, we, I, we, I, saw, I remember 2011 very, very vividly that Palestinians were celebrating the death of the... Or the yeah, and that. the Algerians didn't think much of the French. Again, this is a product of a colonial uh, relationship. There's, there's nothing mystified about this. You're confused because you don't understand what race is. You think it's a biological reality when it's actually a well, political construct, and we've been wasting 20 racism, minutes on this now. Is ra well, I mean, if, I guess the definition of racism, you think you're racist if you're other. Say again. Hello? Hello? What's Hello? your definition of racism? Say again. You Did I lose you guys? What is the definition? Did I lose you guys? <laughs> I think so. All right. Well, we appreciate the phone call. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe six more months of uh, majority report. I think so. Wire I think you need required. another yeah. another uh, six more months of the program. Hey, folks! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.